this video, we are going to compare my lovely best friend's unicorn and little girl pro 30 pound spinner to a cheap two pound or four pound or five pound, I forget how much I paid for it, spinner that I ordered off AliExpress. Pro tip for everyone, if you see something on Amazon that you want, like one of these spinners, you can generally get it from AliExpress for a fraction of the price. Now after the last company sent me this pretty pink one, I thought I would go for something a little more grown up and mature for a 30 year old man, so I ordered a nice blue one. So let's see how it is, I've just received this, so I'm gonna check it out and, oh for, for crying out loud, they've sent me a pink one anyway. Oh, and they've even sent me with it. Look at that, they've sent me a nice carry case, also pink, and what else do I have? I've got, I don't know what this is, this is some kind of, look at that, some kind of, Silicone, oh, it's like a, a foot protector, toes? Maybe it's for ballet going on point, I don't know. Look at this pretty little carry case, does that suit me? And we finally have the actual turn board itself. It's called a ballet turn board, and I think it was something like five pounds 19 plus another two or three pounds of shipping. I forget the exact amount, but AliExpress is where I ordered it. So a big difference between prices, 30 pounds for this one, about eight pounds, let's say, for this one. So what is the difference? First off, let me open it. Okay, look at that. A kind of dark pink color, quite a curve to it. If I compare the curves together, you can see the rocker of uh, the turn board from the ballet is a little bit different to the skating one. So the first thing I'm gonna note with it is this is quite a weighty and solid piece of equipment. Whereas this one, it's very light, but they have got a nice cushion on it. I do like that, a nice cushion feel about it. So my shoe, I guess, will feel nice and comfortable on it. Maybe that's nice if you're going barefoot. Um, feels a little bit flimsy, but if it can support my weight, I'm about 200 pounds, chances are it's going to support yours. So let's give it a go. Okay, all right, doesn't feel too bad. I think it has a little more resistance, so it doesn't spin quite as much on this floor as the more expensive one, but seeing as there's a fraction of a price, I'm not really gonna complain. First test is a twizzle, let's see, and turn out. Okay, well, it seems to do the job. It's not so bad. All right, let's see if I can spin on it. I'm gonna do my exercise from the last video, the three steps in order to do the upright spin. I'm gonna start there, one, Whoa, it's a little bit different. Two, and one, two, stop. Well, you can definitely, you can definitely use this. It almost feel like it slides more. No, nope, there's definitely more resistance. And one, two, three, whoa. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't staged, I legit fell over there. A Little bit different to the one I have been using. Let me give it a go. This is really, honestly, the first time I've ever used this. So, what can we expect, right? One, two, three. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. It's not so bad. And one, two, three. Actually, that's really quite good. I'm pretty surprised with it. One, I can't say for how long it's gonna last, but I'd say it's doing a, a, pretty, a pretty good job so far. It feels like as I stand on it, I'm quite heavy, so I actually bend the rocker, and the rocker on it ends up being a lot flatter. I don't think you can see it from here, but it's not as curved as it looked because I'm flattening out with my weight. If I try some twizzles, one, oh, throws me off a bit sometimes. One, Okay, if I'm practicing twizzles on it, that's not so bad. I think, I think for people on a budget, this is really not a bad option. If you want to try something, with, uh, you know, without paying 30 pounds. 30 pounds is a lot of money for a spinner, but, you know, five, six pounds, maybe. Even if you order it on Amazon, that's only 15 pounds. That's not too much, actually. Let's try some turns on it. Let's see, I did a, an exercise involving some brackets earlier. Okay, there's a little bit more resistance, which isn't too bad, especially for people that are a little unsteady on the, on the expensive spinner. I feel like the extra resistance might not be too bad. Let's try a three turn, if we're practicing three turns. One, two, three, bend. One, two, three, bend. That's really not so bad for, for the money you pay, you really get the feeling of the spinner without breaking the bank. Let's go back to my 
best friend a day of spinner and see how it compares. Definitely feels more solid under the foot. One, two, three. I'm catching my heel because I haven't stood on it right because my foot's so big. Let's try this again. And one, two, three. Definitely a smoother spinning experience. There's more resistance with the turn board there. This one definitely turns with less friction, but this is about a quarter of the price of the other one. So I can't really expect too much. So I've given them both a go now. I think the design of both of them, you know, suits me pretty well. So that they both absolutely nailed. Maybe the kids are gonna like the look a little bit more of that one compared to this one. But this, for the amount of money you pay, really isn't a bad option. And it, it seems not too bad. And I would, I would almost recommend it more for beginners because I felt that under my foot, it had a little bit more friction and was a little easier to control despite my fall. But because of that, I might recommend it for beginners because the other spins so easily that it can throw you off if you don't have a lot of control. But fortunately now I have a nice little carry case to put my spinners in. So I have spinners there. Oh wait, can't forget these. I don't know what I'll do with these. I might cut them up and use them as protection in my skates. That's not a bad find for the money I paid. Look at that. I am ready to go. So I am ready to go to the rink. I have my bag and I'm good to go. I think I look cool and I'm sure everyone else thinks I look cool. Now I hope you enjoyed this video covering the differences of using a very cheap AliExpress spinner and the expensive pro luxury a day of best friend spinner. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Let me know what spinner you use. Have you tried the cheap ballet turning board like this? How did you get on with it if you have tried it? And if you want help using the spinners and the turn boards and feedback from me, check out some of my Zoom classes. We do a lot of work with people covering this exact topic. And if you want to see exclusive videos, and get feedback on your skating, check out our Patreon page. We have a growing community of skaters there, all helping each other learn and enjoying the experience together. Check us out.